Hello, welcome to Vlogtober day 20. It's the 20th. That's crazy. I say that, I've been saying that every day. This month is going by so fast. It's Saturday, hence the reason why I've got my hair in a messy top knot and I've got no makeup on and it is four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm having a very chill day. I slept in, had a nice big brunch, lunch, breakfast thing. And now I'm determined to be at least a little bit productive today. I wanted to finish a project that I started the other day. So I foolishly, Thursday night? Yeah, Thursday night, nine o'clock in the evening after a long day of teaching, decided I was gonna start cleaning out my coat closet. I don't know why I do this to myself. So right by the front door here, we've got a nice, very nice coat closet, very generous. So it's a really good size. Got the hanging space. Um, there's like literally no way to light this, sorry. And then a lot of space beneath. And I've always had storage down here, but it was not well utilized. And this is one of those blue exercise balls. So I wanted to put that in there because it's just been floating around the rest of the apartment. I've cleared out a ton of coats and blazers that I just don't wear anymore. So I've kept it to just my most favorite ones. It's not focusing. It's the one downside about this apartment. There should be a light up there and there's not. So this whole space just gets really dark. So then above this, the hanging storage, you can kind of see, even though it's blurry, there's two shelves and that top shelf goes way up, quite a ways up to the ceiling. So it's pretty much as high as that space is there because that shelf starts right along the top of the door. I've always just kind of shoved things up there and it wasn't very well utilized. So I've decided to rearrange things. So I moved this organizer in here to help organize my hats, gloves, scarves, winter stuff. And then I'm gonna put more of those up there because for someone who lives in a desert where it's winter for approximately five days out of the year, I have a ridiculous amount of cold weather scarves, hats, gloves, etc. So I've got them starting to be organized on the floor and I thought I would show you. And this isn't even all of them. I've got another box of blanket scarves in the bedroom and then I've got all of these scarves hanging on the coat rack. I've moved my hats out here. So my wool, cloche, and fedora hats. <sighs> yeah. I don't want to get rid of them though. Like I am getting rid of some. But I don't want to get rid of them because one day I will live somewhere cold and I'm gonna want these. It's a problem, let me show you. So these are scarves that need to be washed and ironed ready for the fall. This is a scarf hat combo I picked up at Winter Wonderland in Hyde Park a couple years ago. I rarely get to wear it because it's really warm, but I love it. So, and then some of these are like H&M or Target scarves. This one, which badly needs to be washed and ironed, or steamed is a beautiful chandelier print that I got at the Tower of London in the gift shop when you come out of the crown jewels. Love this, it's perfect for autumn and winter um, in terms of the colors, so I want to start using that. Then I have this container here of scarves and scarves and scarves and more scarves. That's the one I took to London with me last October. I've got this pile of scarves got a little box of mittens and gloves there. More scarves, box of hats, all kind of knit hats. Although this one I love, but again, it rarely gets cold enough here. This is a tam o, tam -o shanter I think that's how you pronounce it. Made in Scotland. I got this at a Scottish wool shop in London across from the British Museum. Really good. More hats, more gloves more hats, and then my Santa hat. <laughs> I also have a ridiculous number of tote bags. So some of these are good for shopping, so I'm gonna take them and store them down in my car so that I always have reusable shopping bags. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get these organized so that the scarves, hats, and gloves that I think I'm going to use the most are going to go in that hanging storage. 
the ones that I will use only when it's really cold but I still want access to them I'm gonna put in smaller boxes um, I'm using just regular shoe boxes for now but once I get it how I want it I'm gonna go to Ikea or something and buy like prettier boxes so those will go on that skinnier shelf above the hanging rod and then the ones that I want to keep which is pretty much this stack here I know I want to keep those but I just I'm not going to use them anytime soon so those will go into the black crate and be put way up onto the top shelf so yeah let's let's see how this goes <laughs> okay I think I've got it I think these are gonna go up above these are going to get folded and stacked on that bottom shelf and then I've got a box of <sighs> gloves that I just really never seem to wear but I can't bear to get rid of. A wool hat that I got as a girl. I've had this since I was like nine. We bought this in Scotland maybe or Wales so but I love it but it's rarely hot or cold enough for me to wear it but I just love the colors and the print and it's something I've had since I was little. And then that one, because again, I never get to wear it. So that will be that kind of middle shelf. And then this is my hats. So we've got my really lightweight berets, my slightly more weighted kind of beanies. I do wear these a bit. I wear this when it gets cold, but I love it. This is my like four pound Primark bobble hat. And then I've got another nice knit beanie. And then we get into all of these ones are ones that I have made myself. So love those. So I want those in the organizer. And then I've split my gloves into two boxes. So we've got just the standard knit lightweight gloves that I have in a number of different colors. Um, but they're all essentially the same. These are like usually $5 at Target. One of these also, this one has special tips, fingertips for smartphones. This bin is some fingerless mittens at the front and then some heavier mittens and fleece gloves towards the back. Um, this one has a matching scarf right here. It's a set I got from H&M and it's rarely cold enough to use them but I love them. The insides of these mittens are the softest fleece. Oh they're so nice but yeah it's rarely rarely cold enough. But I am thinking that next semester I teach until 7 15 at night so at the beginning of the semester it could, fingers crossed, <laughs> It could be just cold enough that I need to pack some heavier weighted scarves and mittens for going home. So now I'm gonna put all of these in the coat closet and see hopefully everything fits nicely and it all looks good. Okay, I had to get my phone <laughs> for a flashlight. So there's that bin and I've got my summer straw hats up there. The few puzzles and games that I have are up there, that shelf, has all of those. There's still a little bit of room for like another box. Um, so I might get two storage boxes about that size to put up there and then have the scarves in the middle. And then I've got larger blanket scarves. Um, it still won't fit all of them, but I might, since there's enough space left, I might be able to wiggle some of the gloves and hats up above maybe and make more room for my blanket scarves here. I ended up with a space open so these are some of my flatter caps um, that don't need to be on the coat rack. Yeah, that's that's where we're at. And then one last thing to show you. It's been in this box <laughs> the entire time I've lived here. I worked really hard to make this so I kind of would like to display it somewhere. So back in the days when I was doing costume design, I took a crafts class and we had to make stuff. And so I made this crown. I think, yeah, this is the front with these stones here. And then it goes all the way around. I kind of modeled it after, I think it was a Russian crown worn by one of the Tsarinas in the past. But yeah, it's just fabric form that I cut out and then stuck a ton of rhinestones on and then I had some wire or some ribbon that once it got painted over it was good and then some more um, cording down here 
And so it's meant to sit on the head like this. I never wore it, it never got used for a show or anything like that. If I were to want to wear this out, this should be the thumbnail, right? <laughs> If I ever wanted to wear it, I would have to stick in some kind of loops in here to bobby pin it on, and yeah. You'd probably have to style your hair once around the crown just to get it to stay, but yep. It's, it's my crown. So yeah, I think I want to display this. I don't think I want to keep it in the box but my bookshelves are a little bit full, although this would go really good on the shelf with like all of my Princess Diana and Duchess of Cambridge stuff. Ugh, looking at this, I'm just remembering hand placing every single one of these rhinestones and also creating the design for where the colored stones would go and all of that it turned out pretty good and I believe I got an A for this. So, I don't know if I'll put this, I might put it over by my desk for now. I should have had this out to write, to wear while I was writing my dissertation. That was a missed opportunity. Oh well. <laughs> but I think I will put it by my desk for now. It's about 4.30 almost, so that was a fun project. I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't really feel like doing anything to be honest. I need to clean my kitchen, I mean I need to clean my whole apartment, but I need to do dishes and stuff in the kitchen. Probably need to do some laundry. My scarf, I've got more scarves, gosh. My scarf collection is out of control. I mean these are more of the regular scarves, lightweight scarves for Arizona. I don't know, I just feel like over the last several years of doing my PhD, I just don't go out as much. Like when I was in school, like I would wear scarves every day to class because the air conditioning was always so much. This is one I got in Prague. Um, it just says Prague all over it in lots of different colors, which I like because when it's kind of wrapped up around you, you can't see what the pattern is. I tend to buy scarves a lot as souvenirs. Yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put these because uh, my, my coat rack is not really full of coats. It's full of scarves. This is an H&M one that I like. This is good for this time of year. The colors are nice. I might put these in with those hats. I need to wear this one. I love, love the pattern on this one. Got too many scarves. If I lived somewhere with four proper seasons, all of these would get used on a much more regular basis. Where did I get this one from? This one has really pretty embroidered flowers on the end. And I've had this one since long before blush pink was cool. Liz Claiborne. I bet I got that at Mervyn's when I was working at Mervyn's. Who remembers Mervyn's? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> that was one of my early jobs. I worked there for a few years. Yeah, I'll probably put these in with the blanket scarves because they'll get used a bit more sooner than those ones will. But yeah, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Part of me just wants to go get back in bed and read. I've downloaded two books. One is a new recommendation. So when Jess was over last night, we just kept saying, have you read this one? Have you read this one? Have you read this one? So we both have downloaded and or requested books from the library. I've got one new one that I downloaded to my Kindle and then one that will be a reread that I downloaded to my Kindle. I can't find my hard copy. I know I loaned it to my sister. She could have sworn she brought it, gave it back to me, but I don't have it anywhere. So I found it on Kindle for $2.99, so I just bought a new copy. So um, I might start reading one of those and just put off doing the dishes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm just completely waffling now. And I'm going to get something cold to drink because I'm feeling a bit hot and probably go read. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you later. <laughs>